Uh, Laurie, well battered, but I guess ultimately frustration. Yeah, yeah, of course, you know, going out of the comp. Um, you know, uh, coming into today, we, we knew what we had to do and um, it was tough. Tough one to swallow in the end because we probably felt like we'd um, got enough runs on the board, but they played very well and we probably did bowl as well as we could. Um, so that's the way it goes. And uh, the top order really fired today. Um, your runs, uh, Luke, as, as well, and then of course David Vies, who's been uh, who's been consistent throughout. But uh, um, the case of perhaps um, the top order coming together a bit late in this tournament. Um, I think what we've seen, apart from obviously uh, Vies, is a lot of people have got starts and then got out. Um, but each time, it was there was always a one brilliant individual performance. Um, you're thinking righty at Lords and obviously Vies didn't quite get us over the line at Hampshire, but you know, and then Salty and at Kent. So, you know, I, I wouldn't say our batting necessarily has been poor. I just think we could have been better. Um, I just think, also, you know, as well, we probably could have been better in all forms. So, you know, in batting, bowling, fielding. So, you know, not just the batting. And uh, in terms of taking the positives, obviously you've mentioned those those fantastic. Um, Individual performances. Um, as a rule, the, the fielding's been been spectacular, and um, you know, despite the fact we've been missing a couple of, of big players in, in Joffre and CJ, um, the guys have with stepped up with the ball by and large. Yeah, I mean, I still think there's a lot to learn. You know, in all form, in all assets of the game, um, this you know, in one day cricket, it's difficult, um, and we've got a young we've got a young side, and that showed occasionally. Um, so. You know, and it's down to, like I said before, you know, it's down to senior players to do the majority of the work. Um, and you know, okay, we haven't done that as well as we have, might have liked in the in the critical moments. But um, you know, by and large, probably just a little bit lack of experience and sort of cricket awareness has probably let us down in a couple of games. But um, you know, we'll we'll come back next year and hopefully be a bit better. Talk about next year and. Uh... You know, progression is is key, and and I guess to be in the hunt at this last game, um, despite you know a young side, that shows progress. Yeah, I think so, and you know I, I think we've also come up against some very good sides. I think Hampshire and Somerset were, uh, and probably Gloucester were a, a class above us on the day. Um, you felt that their skills were a lot higher and their cricket awareness was a lot higher. Um, that's. And that was obvious, you know, playing against them, and um, you know, and, and in those games, obviously, we came off second best. So, you know, we still got a lot to improve on. Um, but you know, it's, like I say, it's, it's a lot to play for this year. Um, I'm looking forward. You personally, are 100 today, and I guess that's a good confidence boost going into um, a big block of Red Bull cricket now. Yeah, obviously, I've worked hard on my Red Bull cricket. It was nice to get a game in Durham and get 50 and. and get us near the line one run um, but yeah it's nice to get some runs um, I felt like I've been playing well for the last two three weeks just haven't quite got a big score but you know I've been contributing with some some, um, some I've tried to be as positive as I can in, in all the situations um, so and you know it's just you know it's a tough one to swallow to go out of the competition you know having and lose sort of having scored 100 but you know that's, that's the game there's you know you, you, nothing's really unchaseable in this format and that's what we've seen throughout the competition well well back to say Laurie and uh, thanks for your time thank you